Hi, Sparkies. I'm glad you all are here. Tonight, we're going to talk about Joshua. You learned about him last week, about how he and Caleb trusted God to do what he said. Joshua was a young man when that happened. But in tonight's story, Joshua is now an old man. Many years have passed since Joshua trusted God to do what he said. And God did what he promised during those many years. Tonight's story comes from the Bible in the book of Joshua, chapters 23 and 24. Joshua has become an old man, and he wants to tell some important things to the leaders of Israel. So he gathered them all together in one place. Joshua reminds the leaders and the people of Israel about all of the things that God has done for them, how God helped them defeat their enemies and win battles, and how God had given Israel land for themselves. He points out that the Israelites could not have done any of that by themselves. Joshua also reminds the people that God promised to continue to help them defeat their enemies so that they could live in the promised land. Joshua tells the people of Israel that they need to follow God and God only, and not the pretend gods of the nations around them. They are to worship and serve only the true God. And if they do that, God will keep his promises to them and will fight for them. But Joshua also warns the people that if they don't obey God, then he won't fight for them or protect them from their enemies. Joshua reminds the people that God always keeps his promises, the good ones and the bad ones. That means that if they obeyed God, he would keep his promise to fight for them. But if they disobeyed God, he would keep his promise not to fight for them. So after hearing everything that Joshua shared with them, the Israelites had two choices. They could live God's way and receive his care and blessing, or they could live their own way and suffer the consequence of that. Through Joshua, God reminded the people of all that he had done for them. And through Joshua, God reminded the people of all he promised to do for them if they obeyed and served only him as the one true God. So Joshua told the people they should choose to serve the one true God. And Joshua made the choice for him and his family that they would serve only God, the one true God. The Israelites listened to what Joshua had told them and decided that they would love, serve, and worship the one true God. And just like the Israelites had to make a choice, we each have to make a choice. We have to decide if we want to love, serve, and worship God, the one true God, and have him on our side, or if we want to live our own way and deal with the consequences. Consequences are what happens when we make a choice. They can be good or bad. For example, if we choose to be kind to our friends, then maybe they'll play with us. But if we choose to say something mean to our friend, then they probably won't play with us. For us to love, serve, and obey God, we have to learn what he wants us to do. We can learn that from God's word in the Bible. God wants us to obey his commands because he loves us and his commands are designed for our benefit. He wants us to love, serve, and worship only him. If you want to choose to love, serve, and worship and obey God, talk to your parents or one of your leaders about how you can do that. When you guys come back next week, we'll be starting our final green jewel. Part of earning this green jewel will be completing a chart on page 99 of your handbook. Make sure you show your parents and they can help you as you work toward filling in the chart. Good night, Sparkies.